Let's denote the given series by S. Subtract 1 from both sides. We get S minus 1 is equal to 2 upon 3 plus 6 upon 3 square plus 10 upon 3 cube plus and so on. Now divide both sides by 3 and rewrite the expression. We get S minus 1 upon 3 on the left hand side. And the right hand side we get 2 upon 3 square plus 6 upon 3 cube plus and so on. And notice that on the right hand side we have written the series staggering each of the terms by one position. Subtract the second series from the first series. The left hand side we get S minus 1 minus S minus 1 upon 3. And on the right hand side we get 2 upon 3 plus 6 minus 2 upon 3 square which is 4 upon 3 square. The next term is 4 upon 3 cube. The following term is 4 upon 3 raised to the power 4 plus and so on. The right hand side is equal to 2 upon 3 plus taking 4 upon 3 square common amongst the remaining terms. We get in brackets 1 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 square plus and so on. Notice that the term in the square bracket is a geometric series with common ratio 1 upon 3. And therefore, the right hand side is equal to 2 upon 3 plus 4 upon 3 square times the sum of this geometric series, which is 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 3. The right hand side simplifies to 2 upon 3 plus 4 upon 3 square times 1 upon 2 upon 3. The second term on the right hand side simplifies and the right hand side is therefore equal to 2 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3 which is equal to 4 upon 3. The left hand side also simplifies and is equal to 2 upon 3 times s minus 1. This is equal to the right hand side which is 4 upon 3. The 3 cancels on both sides and we get s minus 1 is equal to 2 which leads us to s is equal to 3. And this is the value of the given infinite series.